Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Luna ING and you can call me Luna. Today I'm reacting to the fifth episode of Bloomin' to You. Last episode, <laughs> I did not like Mackie's character. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but the whole like, I want to be a spectator really creeped me out. I would not want to hang out with a person who thought like that. Um, the only way I could relate to that is that I watch anime and I ship characters, but that's fictional. Like I wouldn't do that with real people. Like my friends are in relationships, but I'm not trying to like know their private business. Like that's just weird. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start this episode after a countdown. Three, two, one, play. How would you know that though? Do you read it? I've been, I recorded like three videos before this. I'm a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling she didn't know. Oh, not watching the opening. If you'd like to recommend an anime or K-drama for me to watch, please check out my anime list and K-drama list links are in the description. I'm reacting to a lot of shows right now. All the playlists are on my channel. I think there's only 13 episodes of the show, so we're on five now, almost halfway. Um, I still don't see the romance yet, but I think, I think I just need to get to know the characters more. Yeah, things escalated quickly in the beginning and now they're kind of like settling down. And I think once they get to know each other more, maybe Koito will develop feelings for Toko as well. I've been told that I should read the manga after this. I wonder if the manga continues past the anime. Back off. I really don't like this guy. Like, it's none of his business. Like, I think there's a difference from supporting someone and then trying to like be involved like just let them figure out things on their own
Maybe it's because I heard his internal monologue and I know his intentions are to be a spectator. I think that's why I'm being creeped out because from her perspective, like he just found out and he's supportive, I guess. Has she been reading a lot? Oh, is she writing her own novel? Is that why she's hasn't been sleeping? Wow, that's impressive. Uh-oh, is something going to happen to it because it was put in the desk? I hope nobody steals it. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I just feel like something bad's going to happen because she left it in the desk and they showed us that she left it in the desk. Is somebody going to take it and then photocopy it and then send it all over the school or is somebody going to steal it? Somebody's going to steal it and submit it and they're going to win an award. I'm being too negative. Check. Is it still there? Is it still in the desk? I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm overthinking it. She works so hard on the story. I don't want somebody to steal it. I think Toko thinks that Maki's interested in Koito because she saw them walking away from the student council room earlier.
So definitely not having feelings for Toko yet. Ooh, I didn't choose her. Yep, no Doki Doki. She likes that she's been chosen. Huh. Is <laughs> she just petting her like an animal? <laughs> I always preferred studying at home because libraries were always crowded. <laughs> mm. Oh, invite her over? Oh. I don't know how not, I don't know how Toko's gonna take that though. <laughs> A problem the problem with choices. The problem with choices continued. I think this doesn't mean that much to Koito, but it means a lot to Toko. Her first time over at Koito's place. Oh. <laughs> Does she mean that? Oh, because of food? I thought she, I thought she said it smelled nice because the place smells like Koito, <laughs> but they're cooking. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Friends can get friend souvenirs. <laughs> Is it that strange? <gasps> In your crush's room. That's a cute room. I have a coffee table in my room too. <laughs> my room is very cramped right now because I've put my setup here, but I'm happy. <laughs> Aw, that's cute.
Ah, oh, that's cute. Hero has just been accepted. <laughs> the study date. <laughs> Toko sometimes gets too close to Koito and now Toko's the one saying you're too close. <laughs> the... Doki Doki. <laughs> she raised her hand. I thought she was just gonna like touch her. <laughs> <laughs> just because of the side angle, I thought she was gonna like touch her. <laughs> But she just reached for her wrist. <laughs> She's going to thank Maki is interested in her. Exactly. Maybe part of it is because of that book that she read, the the typical boy meets girl, but then it changes to girl, girl.
Ooh, is she going to make a cheesecake for her? So she's grown up seeing lots of love, like the grandparents, the parents, her sister. Oh, she's saying that she's not alone. <laughs> what? Wow, that, I think that's the end. Uh, there might be an end credit scene, so I'll skip ahead. Not watching the ending. Oh, no, just, just credits, okay. Okay, I, I think this might be my favorite episode so far. Um, Okay, so they, I feel like they spent a bit more quality time together, got to know each other more. Um, I don't think Koito likes Toko romantically yet. I'm not sure how I feel about Koito noticing that Toko needs her and then saying that if if you need me, like, I'll, I'll be with you. I don't know if I'm supporting that mindset. Like, I, I think they should be together if it's mutual. But if, if Koito is just going along with it, then I don't agree with that. Like, I, I think I would prefer if, if Koito also likes Toko and isn't just being with her to not feel alone or being with her because Toko likes her. Mm. Like does she, does Koito just like being liked? Um, that's what it feels like right now. Or does she already have feelings for Toko but isn't aware of it yet? Um, Yeah, it's interesting that Koito, I guess she just hasn't fallen for anybody yet, um, but she has seen, she has grown up around love. Like she's, she's seen like, um, like if her grandfather didn't pass away before uh, Koito was born, then she would have seen her grandparents happy together. And she's seen her parents happy together. She's seen Hiro and, and her sister happy. So I hope she just doesn't go along with Toko just to f feel like she's not alone. <laughs> um, yeah, I still need to see them spend more time together, get to know each other, and hopefully Koito develops feelings for Toko and it's not just one-sided. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. I I feel like the the I recorded Carol and Tuesday today and Kotaro um and a place further than in universe and I don't know why. Episode 5 of all of these is my favorite episodes of all the shows so far. 
Um, if you'd like to check those out, there, there are playlists on my channel, and I also react to K-dramas on weekends. Ho um, currently, that's Hotel de Luna. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.